everyone, it's Natalie at Custom Crafts and I have a great fall project for you today. We have created, using our Cricut, this beautiful fall decoration wreath and all the leaves that were, are on this wreath were cut from SCI paper, the Moravia Collection, beautiful, beautiful plate paper that has foil and flacking and is also double sided so it gives you a lot of different um, ways to go when you're using your using it in your Cricut. And also we used the Speaking of Fall Cricut cartridge. Now we get a lot of questions from our customers and they buy these cartridges and they say, well, what do I use them for? This is an example of a perfect project where you can use, the, use this cartridge um, to cut out leaves and various fall things and not necessarily using it for what it was intended to, which is to create letters and words. So very, very out of the box thinking when you're using this cartridge and super fun. Um, you'll also need some of the Colorbox Fluid Chalk ink and this is the um, chocolates and blueberries um, selection. And then you'll also want to just go to your craft store and pick up one of these green floral wreath um, forms that you can stick all your leaves to. And you will need also some ribbon that goes with um, the paper that you've selected. We have chosen the SEI um, paper, the Moravia collection, so this goes really well with the paper um, that we've chosen. And um, it's just kind of a silky ribbon and it, there is nine feet or three yards on each roll and we used about, if you can believe it, three rolls. Or about two and a half actually. So the way we started is we just um, adhered the ribbon at some point on your wreath. You can hot glue it or pin it or however you like to do it. And we just started wrapping. So this is what it looks like when it's totally wrapped and you can see the back here. The entire thing is covered. Then we can start with the fun part, which is our leaves. And uh, we had mentioned that you will be using your Speaking of Fall Cricut cartridge. So our leaves, if they're cut out in just a plain paper, will look something like this. We've cut them out in different sizes. Um, the first leaf that we used, you'll find on page 31. And that would be this leaf right here. You're going to be cutting it out in five inches and three inches. And you'll be um, selecting, it's, it's this leaf right here. You don't have to push shift or layers or anything. So if you Pay, um, turn to page 31 in your binder, you'll find it right there. The second leaf that you'll uh, be looking for is located on page 50. So I'll turn to that page in my binder. And um, that's this leaf right here. You'll be needing to um, select the layers button on your keypad um, because you're looking to cut out this leaf. And Karen cut these out um, at eight inches and at nine and a half inches and six inches in height. So however many of these that you want. She cut out um, four at eight inches, three at nine and a half, and a couple more at the six. So just enough to cover your, your wreath. Then the third leaf that you're going to be cutting out, and you can certainly, um, there are lots of cool leaves in this binder. You can certainly vary them if you'd like, make it your own. Um, the third leaf that we used is on page 54 of your binder, and um, you'll be selecting the layers button again, and that will be um, this leaf right here. So we cut it out in six inches and in four inches. Okay, so I already have all of my leaves cut out. And as you can see, I've already started placing them on my wreath with hot glue. And what we decided was, um, if you look at the wreaths that are in the stores that are laid out, all of the leaves go in one direction. So we decided to start layering them and laying them on and going in, they all go in one direction. And then um, you may notice we stuck these little twig-like branches in here. These are also made out of paper. I'm gonna show you how to make those. But we just tucked them right into the ribbon, which was kind of a nice um, attribute of having your um, foam covered in ribbon. So your, your twigs or your branches will look like this. And in order to make them, it's so very, very simple. We just cut a, a strip of paper just like this in, in coordinating color. And you can like crunch it up first and kind of rip it. it. Gives it a little bit more texture to it, just like a branch would be. And then you just start twisting it. 
and you start at one end and you twist in a certain, the same direction the entire time. And just twist round and round until your whole strip is just like this. And you can make your strips a little bit wider and then if you want to, you can trim off some at the top so they're a little bit pointed at the end, a little bit skinnier, but it should look something like this when you are finished. And then once you've um, got everything all twisted up, you can take the same um, fluid chalk ink that you're going to be using to ink your leaves and um, just run some of that fluid chalk ink over that in order to kind of give it a little bit of a, a woodsy or an outdoor look. Okay, so I'm going to set these aside now. And then once you have all your leaves cut out, you can do kind of the same thing. Um, we've got some that are cut out in regular cardstock and then some that are cut out in pattern paper. And I love this SDI paper again because it's just got the flacking on it and some of the leaves are foiled and it just looks so pretty in fall. But um, So in order to get this look on some of our cardstock leaves, we just took the leaf and crunched it up just like that. And then when you un, when you flatten it out, it kind of has all these wrinkles in it. And then you can take your fluid chalk ink, and when you ink over your leaf, not only does it collect in those little cut lines that the Cricut did for you, and you can bend your leaf like that and move the fluid chalk over so that you get that, that cut area all inked up, but when you take it over the surface where you've bent the leaf, like right here, it collects on that line. So that, and then you can take the ink around the edge of the leaves as well. And we did this both on the um, flat paper or the, just the regular cardstock leaves, and then we, you can also do it on the pattern paper. We just started with some of our, our bigger size leaves and you're going to need a hot glue gun handy. And we just started laying on our leaves and you can turn them different ways. And um, So if I wanted to use this side of the leaf, I'm just going to grab my ink again and ink up that side instead of using the other side. So you can just place your, your leaf on the wreath, just like that, and you can crunch it up and kind of decide if you want it to, to come out or if you want it to lay flat. You can see when you really crunch them up and start to layer them, it gives your wreath a lot of dimension. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue down there on my ribbon and press my leaf down. So we have adhered all of our leaves to our wreath form. And as you can see, it makes a really beautiful holiday decoration, fall decoration. It would be great for the interior or if you actually have a covered um, entryway, you could hang it on the outside if you want to, something that's protected. Um, then when you're finishing your project, if you want to just hold it up and see exactly if there's any spot that's missing a leaf, um, you can hold it up and kind of face it towards you and then you might see some bare spots, but I think we did a pretty good job. So um, then after you've got everything covered, all your wreath forms covered, depending on how you're planning to hang it, you can certainly use some of the ribbon that you have left over and um, you know, loop it around the top here and, and just tuck it underneath some of those leaves and hang it. Or um, if you've got one of those little metal wreath hangers, you can do that as well. So if you have any questions regarding our project, you can contact us at customcraps.com. And if you liked our project and you have um, comments that you'd like to leave on our YouTube channel, please do so. Thanks again for watching.